Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode. We're with Yam in the garden once more here at Yam Squad HQ. And as you can tell from the title, I have bought an ambulance. Over the past few weeks, I've been hinting at sort of things to come, a new project to happen, and I've been trying not to tell you guys about it just because I didn't want to say anything without it being confirmed. So stay tuned in the next episode where I actually show you the ambulance. Only kidding, isn't that right, Yam? Yes, only joking. Let's see the ambulance right here. It has finally arrived. Like I said, I didn't want to tell you guys, oh, I'm going to get an ambulance. I'm going to get a van without actually getting one. So I have bought an ambulance. I've bought the ambulance, if you will. So right here, it is an old Scottish ambulance, as you can see here, right there. Scottish ambulance service coming right round here. Doors open on the side. And this is the ambulance. Absolutely fantastic. But what we'll do is have a little quick tour around the ambulance, around the ambulance itself, to show you guys and talk a little bit about what I'm kind of planning on doing with it. Yeah, I'm very, very excited about the ambulance. Up again. Go in. Good boy. Yeah, I'm getting used to the ambulance himself. But here we actually have a van that was used as an ambulance. So for those of you that are interested, this is a Peugeot Boxer L4 H3 3 litre turbo diesel. For the Americans out there, I think that means it's a 170 extended size. I think at least a 170. It is a big van. It's one of the biggest you can get in this sort of panel van configuration. And as you can see, it has all the accoutrement for being an ambulance. It has the ramp here that Yam is currently wanting to use. You have some different things like in here, you have your oxygen storage areas. You have the seats for paramedics, cleaning materials, brake glass, vacuum mattress, banana boards, circulation, breathing management, airway management, cupboards, seat here and through into the cab as well. But the idea with the ambulance here is not to bring it back to its heyday of being an ambulance, but in fact to turn it into a tiny home. Oh, hello, yeah. A tiny home on wheels. And so the idea is to, since it's a little bit older, to make sure I know what's in the van itself. So can I just go with the electrical system, for example? Is it good to go? Do I need to add things? Do I need to take things away? There's a lot of stuff in here. So it's kind of making sure what's in here works or doesn't work and seeing what I need to get to make it work. And then also having a little bit of a look at say, okay, can I use these cupboards in the conversion? Can I use these cupboards? What can I use? And then also taking things out that I know I'm not going to use as well. So the plan very, very simply is to have a bed area back here. Yam and I back here, shower, probably on one of the sides over there and then kitchen seating area up the front. So we're gonna take that bulkhead out, but that is for future Yam Squad to look forward to. And the plan itself is not to, okay, got a van, gonna convert it, going traveling, and that is it. The plan is to have the van as a sort of side project in these uncertain times at the moment on top of rowing, because especially I've been looking at a van for maybe two years, or looking at the idea of van lifing over the past maybe two years or so and been watching all the YouTube videos on there, a lot of binge watching and just seeing, okay, what can be done? What's the idea behind van life? What can you do? And I really want to sort of not put that on hold, if that makes sense. I want to try and enjoy the process and see what I can do. So currently, just converting the, the van as a sort of hobby, if that makes sense. And then once it's finished, trying to use the van as a training tool rather than a traveling device, if that makes sense. Oh, is it I'm boring you, Jan? And so, for example, if I want to, say, during the winter here in Scotland, very dark, not so dry, quite cold, out on the water can be quite a kerfuffle. If I want to, say, for example, go and do a little training camp, I have the van, I can drive to a warmer climate, Jan, and do a little training camp there. That's just like a, a small example of what I could do with the van to 
use it as a training tool but that's kind of the idea going forward into the future so it's actually really exciting that it's actually here like i said i've been looking at this for many many years and i'm well not many many years about two years and i it's actually happening which is really really exciting i'm really really excited to take you guys on the journey with me so what the idea is video wise is to follow or hopefully let you guys follow the journey of doing this van so getting it all sorted out and maybe if anyone wants to help or knows anyone that can help or knows has any more expertise than me i'm not a professional electrician van outfit or anything so if you are or know anyone that is is willing to help let me know in the comments below but really excited to get it all started and show you guys a journey so the videos there'll be van life videos whether it's kit kitting the van out whether it's stripping the van out whether it's getting my bed built whether it's the heating system solar panels whatever it is and then also the rowing videos won't be going anywhere anytime soon so do not worry about that there still will be rowing content uh, this will give me at the very least another opportunity to make content that i'm really excited about so today a little bit of a short one and a big big update and really like i said for the millionth time really really excited to to start this journey with you guys and let's see where we go and as always yeah do you want to say no remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and i will see you in the next episode where I think the first thing to do with the van is strip out the parts that I know I'm definitely not going to use. <laughs>